What's up guys, G Murph from Mission DJ here. Today I wanna to show you a really straightforward method of using EQ only and no faders to transition to house tracks. What, EQ only? Yeah, that's right, EQ only. You can be real fancy and not even touch your faders. It's actually pretty fun and you can get pretty creative with it. So I hope you enjoy it. But before you watch the video, please like, subscribe, do what you gotta do, help me help you so I can keep on pushing these videos out and making the world better DJs. All right, have fun guys, talk soon. All right guys, I'm gonna be mixing two house tracks today without any faders, meaning no volume faders, no cross fader. I'm just gonna be using strictly my EQ. So my lows, my mids, and my highs. Okay, so what I'm gonna start doing is imagine if you will, this track on the right, on the right deck, playing out and I'm gonna mix out at a designated spot Basically, it's the second chorus, and then I'm gonna come in with track number one into track two at the one, which is the first beat of the first bar, and then I'm gonna gradually, at different phrases, bring in the EQ one by one, and you'll see I'm gonna start bringing in the highs, and then I'll bring in the mids, and then I'll bring in the lows. And just the same, I'm actually gonna reverse that order to take out this track. I'm gonna take out the lows first, and then the mids, and then the highs. So all that together is gonna create a very smooth transition. It's gonna be a long one, not something you'd find in hip hop or pop per se, but you can do this often, and you should experiment with it a lot in house. All right, so. It's a fun way to transition and you can really kind of customize it and take different levels out at different points according to your taste. So this is my rendition of a faderless transition. So again, imagine I played this whole song out and I'm just starting at a kind of an arbitrary point before my mix out point here. Up. Now again, even though the fader's up, if I put it all the way to that side, it doesn't matter because all these levels are down. So little by little, I'm gonna bring it in. Make sure you're beat matched. Now you can hear the highs. Bring up the mids. Now you can hear that little drum pattern in there. Might even accentuate them a little bit more. And then at the right time, I'm gonna bring in the, the lows. It might swap out the lows too. That was my choice to kind of bring down the outgoing tracks lows a little bit and then take them out fully and then bring in the incoming tracks fully so it's a nice grand entrance of bass for the new track. Okay, so now I'm gonna slowly take out the mids. So in this track, you should only be able to hear the highs, which you can barely hear anymore, right? It's nothing, so I can really take those out whenever. And then I have nothing left. So it's all this track. Pretty simple, very effective, very customizable. Have fun with it, guys. 